Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to do another pizza in my toaster oven and it's going to be with stuff I grew so it'll be a vegetable pizza. I think I'll call it a summer garden pizza. So let's get toasted. I have a few of these little Mama Mary's little personal size pizza crusts. You've seen me use those before. I have a couple types of shredded cheese. I have a jar of pizza sauce. And then for my toppings, um, I have a zucchini, which I've been putting on pizza for the last couple days. And I've been, just been slicing it thin and putting it on there raw, but sometimes it can be a little crunchy. So this morning I found a yellow squash. And uh, I think I will slice these up and put them in my steamer and soften them up a little bit. And uh, then I'll just slice up a tomato. And I didn't grow this garlic, but this is fresh garlic from the Christopher Ranch grown in Gilroy, California. This is a Monviso. It's a California heirloom garlic. And it comes in these vacuum sealed pouches. It's all peeled and everything. So this is pretty potent stuff. So I'm just gonna slice up one little clove of that. And then I also have some green onions growing in a can of water there that I keep on my porch. Um, just take the white bottom of the onion, stick it in there and the tops keep growing up. So I'll probably uh, cut a little green onion and sprinkle some of that on the top when the pizza is done. So uh, let me get these in the steamer and then we'll start putting our pizza together. All right, my squash is steaming over here. I cut up my one clove of garlic there as finely as I could. And also just cut up one tomato. We'll add that in there. And when the squash is steamed, we'll add some of that to the bowl as well. My steamed squash is done. It's soft and ready to go. This will be better. It won't be crunchy that way. So uh, I think I'll add just a little bit of salt to that. A little bit of kosher salt. And maybe just a little bit of olive oil as well. I'll get this all mixed together. And then we'll start putting our pizza together. All right, let's get this thing put together. I've tried different brands of these homemade pizza crusts and I kind of like these Mama Mary's pretty good because they're thick enough that they hold up. A lot of times, you know, when you use vegetables, there's a lot of water, a lot of liquid in them and um, too much of that liquid will get in the thin crust and they just all fall apart. These are pretty sturdy. And this pizza sauce I'm using, this Rinaldi is the stuff I get at the Dollar Tree. So jar, this is a dollar. It's pretty good sauce. One of my favorites. I have two kinds of shredded cheese. This one has Grand Cru, Mild Provolone, and Fontiago in it. So we'll put some of that. And this one is Monterey Jack, Cheddar, Asadero, and Queso, Quesadilla cheese, and cream cheese. Now we'll put our veggies on top and get this into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll just let that cook until the cheese melts. It's been about 10 minutes, so let's take a peek. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm ready to munch my lunch. I am starving, and this thing sure smells good. Let's just put a little Parmesan cheese on top of it. Okay, now let's try a bite of this baby while it's still nice and hot. Ho ho ho. Gonna be messy. Wow, this is so good for a vegetarian pizza. It has so much flavor with that garlic in it. And you know what? I never tried putting yellow squash on pizza, but it's really good. So is the zucchini. It's better when you steam it like that, though, because it's not crunchy. Man, I'm going to finish eating. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.